Hello and welcome to the Adam and Val YouTube channel. We've finally got our hands on these new Jaffa Donuts. So these are basically Jaffa cakes in a donut shape. Available at Tesco's. Probably available at other stores as well. Two pounds, one pound 35 for club card holders. It's four in a box, so it still works out a good 50 pence each. For club card members, that's 135 divided by four which is a maths I don't know. Thank you to my gorgeous sister Karen for getting these for me. Thank you to my sister Abby for dropping one of these off for me to test. We've been after these for a while. By a while, he means about two days. There was a big build up for these for quite a while on social media. To be honest with you, I've seen not much of these on social media because I don't really go on social media looking for Jaffa cake related products. Where they were saying these new Jaffa Joe nuts are out, these new Jaffa Joe nuts are out and nobody could seem to get them. Nobody could seem to get them. Who's all these nobodies? Probably one person couldn't get them. And now there's been an influx of social media posts. He's pulled out an influx. Of these Jaffa Jonuts. I'm not in charge of scheduling. You'll probably see this video a month after it's uh, they've been on sale and everyone slated them or rated them. A month? Not in charge of scheduling? That's a bit of a dick, isn't it? It's a bit of a dick I'm not in charge of scheduling. You go back to watching your TV, son. Not in go a month. They've been out half a day. I'm trying to get the box open. Trying to get the box open. That's how you open the box. Just like that. It doesn't say anything apart from the love child of the epic Jaffa cake and a delicious donut. We call them Jonuts, a new original. So it is going to be literally, hopefully, like that. A Jaffa cake in the shape of a donut. They're individually wrapped to keep the freshness, fresh, fresh niche. Individually wrapped to keep the freshness. Freshness, I imagine. So let's dive in and see. Dive in? You're going to go swimming in the Jaffa cake? No, you're not diving in. We love a Jaffa cake on this channel. I certainly do. And look at that. Look at that. Now look at that. That's a nice little, that sponge feels exactly like a normal Jaffa. Bit of a sponge there. It's almost already feeling more like a cake than the donut texture. And it's really greasy. I want this to taste like a Jaffa cake. To be honest there, I more want this to taste like a donut with the flavouring of a Jaffa cake. But I don't want it to taste just like a Jaffa cake. I want a taste of donut. I will be disappointed if it doesn't taste like a normal Jaffa cake. That sponge feels like a normal one. The smell is the same. The chocolate's quite thick on the top. I'm quite impressed with that. The sponge, I've got to say, does not feel like a normal Jaffa cake. It just feels greasy and wet. Yeah, the chocolate is quite thick, I guess, in some parts, but that's not the length of the chocolate. That's just melted over. But there is, there is a bit of chocolate, we'll give them that. And there's a dribble down there, so you can see that chocolate in close-up chocolate goodness. I'm going to break this and have a look at this filling. This filling which seems to be a little bit, it's a little bit non-existent. Yeah, there's not much filling. Let's just not be around the bush. There's not much filling. It, it does smell like a Jaffa cake though. I wanted it to taste like a Jaffa cake. It tastes like a Jaffa cake. It has got that Jaffa cake taste to it, but that base, that bottom part, that's far too thick. And it tastes absolutely nothing like a donut. What it's coming across as, as a really thick based Jaffa cake. You can, even though you can't see much orange, there is that orange Jaffa cake sort of taste to it. It's extremely greasy. I don't know why it's so greasy. It's got a bit of chocolate on top. It's tasting like a Jaffa cake, but too much base. But I will say, I just see this, what it looks like they've done, they're nice, they are nice. I'll say that straight away, they're nice. They're not nice. They are not nice, I'm not saying that straight away. They are not nice. They're just like an extra thick Jaffa cake that no one wants. You don't look forward to the cake part of a Jaffa cake. You look forward to the whole package in that slim lined 
design, this is too much. You, you couldn't walk around eating this because you're going to be gasping. You're going to rope the heavens open just so you can quench your palate for the dryness of this. And it's got a really greasy sort of, not nice greasy way texture. Nah, they've, they've really messed up with this. Now that, that sponge texture, first of all it tastes nothing like a donut. And that sponge texture, it's dry but it's greasy. It's, it's not a nice taste. A little bit, it's a little bit greasy on the donut side of it. A little bit greasy, this is dripping wet. But what I will say, I think that's probably because he's sweating in that foil packet. That's nothing to do with that foil packet. They've just overloaded it on grease. They had nothing to do with it whatsoever. They said pack it bone dry. I think they dotted, rather than squirt the filling all the way through, I think they dotted it all the way through. Forget that dotted analogy that he's come up with there. It's not been dotted, there's just not much filling. I am so, I need a shower. So sometimes you might get a bite that is filling free. What filling they have dotted through it, there definitely needs to be more. There's no doubt in your mind that you are eating a donut, a Jaffa cake donut. I'm gonna to totally 100% disagree with that. It tastes nothing like a donut. I don't know what this is, is Dave even thinking. It's an horrible sponge. There is the filling there, and I ain't having it, it's dotted. I just think it's blended into the sponge, this filling. It's not even a nice filling, it's almost too bitter. You can taste the bitterness of the filling on that. But you don't want more of anything on this. You don't want it, to be honest. You just don't want it. There's no doubt in that, the flavour's spot on. The flavours are not spot on. There is that slight tint that you're eating a Jaffa cake, but it's too much of too muchness. The flavours are, are off. McVitie's you've messed up. But if I was being picky, I would say, it needs more filling. It don't need more filling. It needs removing from the shelves. That's what it needs. What's the chocolate like on its own? I about the best bit, to be honest. It's just a bit of chocolate. It's not even orange flavored chocolate. It's not even the nicest tasting chocolate, to be honest, it's like cheap chocolate. Definitely, definitely needs more filling. But they will all get eaten. I don't think they will get eaten, to be honest. And I think I have proof, and the proof's in the pudding. My sister dropped me this off, because our kids didn't want them. And kids eat anything. And if kids ain't eating them, no one's eating them. Thanks, Jeff okay? Thanks for trying something a little bit different and up in your game. I did a few months ago get a Jaffa cake donut, or it's called a Jaffa donut from Lidl, which was basically this principle, but obviously it wasn't the official Jaffa cake. It was just a, a, a little rip-off sort of thing. So they, they saw them and Jaffa cakes have jumped on the bandwagon and said, we'll have some of that. McVitie's have never been to Lidl. They don't care about Lidl but they have messed up with this product. This should have been released by Lidl because it's absolutely rotten. But they're okay. They're not okay. You go and buy these, you're gonna be extremely disappointed. I'll guarantee you that now. A little bit, little bit too greasy, but I think that's sweaty in the packet, as I said, and it needs more filling. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time for more Jaffa Cake related reviews. Yeah, thanks for watching. We will not see you again with any more Jaffa Cake reviews, apart from later today when Vincent has another review of another flavoured Jaffa Cake that we will, he will probably absolutely love. On the Adam Abel YouTube channel. That's left the sour taste in my mouth. Take it from me, don't bother with these. But if you do try them and you agree with Vincent's side of the review, let us know in the comments what you prefer. Do you like these or do you not like these? For me, it's getting a fun dad, big time. But Vincent absolutely loves it. Each their own. I think I'll go to Lidl's.